what else do we have here? We have a couple more. One more we have here, which is a real harbinger of spring, is the primrose. Um, once again, like the Gerber daisy, these are tender perennials. They can be ah. planted outside, and generally they start blooming outdoors, I'd say, within, oh, about the first, second week of March. Uh, they come in an assortment of colors. Oh, you can put them out that early? Well, if they have already been planted out, yes. Oh, okay, I uh, see. If you are buying plants, I'd probably recommend waiting till around late March to the 1st of April in this area. They are wonderful little spring-like blossoms. Some varieties grow quite tall. Most are compact like this. So these won't get too much taller. They no, spread they out a little they more. No, they will spread out. Uh -huh. But they're more a spready plant than a tall plant. Exactly. Oh, they and are really cute. They are. They, like pansies, t we tend to think of as the first flowers of spring, uh -huh. other than crocus and some of your bald plants. Mm -hmm. They come in a variety of colors once again, but these come in nice purples too, which are one of my favorite <laughs> colors. I wish I'd had one or I would have brought it. But almost every color of the rainbow you can find oh. in primrose. Now in the house, how long will they last? You're looking pretty like this. I would say probably about four weeks, maybe six. They like cool temperatures, similar to a cyclamen. Okay. So a north or an east window was good for these plants because they get a significant drop in nighttime temperature if they're right against uh -huh. the pane of the window. And they will, in a real warm house, I'd say put them in an unheated room or against a window. They won't tolerate too much heat. Okay, now how moist do we want to keep these now? Fairly moist. They will these let nice you know. They yeah. will let you know, unfortunately, <laughs> if you let them get too dry and they're rather pitiful looking. I'd say just let the soil barely go dry across the soil surface before you water thoroughly again. And like most okay. things, don't let them sit in water. Now, if you do happen to come across your plant like this sitting in front of the window and it looks all wilted, um, would it be best to just go ahead and water it? A lot of times they revive quite exactly. well, don't they? they? Certainly, they certainly should. There shouldn't be a reason why not. I try to even immerse the pot for like five minutes in water to make sure everything is saturated and then lift it up and let uh -huh. it drain well. Oh, okay. And that will generally revive them. And then after they are done in the house, they don't look too well anymore, all the blooms are gone, then you can plant them outside. It's it's yes. safe. After, After last chance of frost okay. or thereby. Uh, this, like most things, you'd want to prune off any spent blossoms because that will encourage more to come up from the sure. bottom. And you can look inside and you can see lots of little buds ready to come out. So you know you're going to get a good long life out of these. That's great. Now you can also buy these in individual pots if you'd like. This particular pot has about four or five different ones, but they do come as individuals. They are really cute. Okay. So now... We're